fucking morning. So, all day you may, and off to cardio. Let's fucking get this day started. It is cardio time, damn it. Got my all day you may, my fucking kick ass headphones. Figure out what the fuck I'm gonna listen to. That's gonna get me fucking motivated. Yeah, let's do this. All right, it is vacuum time, God damn it! So we're gonna raise it to 15 seconds today. 15 seconds, three times a day, damn it. Let's do it. This way, small. <laughs> I'm not even clocking it, I'm just guessing. My suggestion is fucking time that shit, because I might have been a little off. That might not have been 15. I don't know. <laughs> what do you think, baby? <laughs> I don't think so either. You don't think so? Alright, goddammit. Here we go. Alright, this time. I'm ready? Let's do it! 15! Come on! Shit. One more set. One more set of 15. And you notice the difference in the morning when you do these? It's a lot easier in the morning. You feel like you can get your waist tighter than when you get food in your stomach. So, definitely morning vacuums are the best time for me. I can notice the difference. I feel like after a couple meals in me, I can feel the difference. I feel like my waist doesn't get quite as tight. But you're still, you're still, you're still doing, working it. All right, here we go. Whew, all right. Vacuum's done, two more times today. So, uh, perfect. All right, just got off cardio, empty stomach, feeling light, goddammit. <laughs> Let's see where we're at. There's 200. Let's see. Didn't you need to go to 250? Oh, shit. <laughs> Fuck. What's wrong with me? Okay, let's see. Oh, shit. Jesus Christ. 266. God damn. 266, so that's almost my lightest. One pound away from my lightest. <laughs> I was feeling light today. Whew. So when I started this program, I was 272, right? Mm -hmm. So that's, what is that? Four or six pounds in what a week so that's pretty good but when I started the when I started the keto I was 292 like what eight nine weeks ago mm -hmm. so coming down quick be it 260 before I know it and then 250 <laughs> see if I have enough balls to fucking go any further right that's my problem oh I'm still feeling good though I don't feel like I'm too skinny yet not there yet. Close, but I'm not there yet. So, uh, so I got a little fat, you know, around here, so I got fat, so it's all good. You know, once that fat's gone, then I start tripping out if I start dipping into muscle. So that's why I freak out, so. But, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. I really do need to lose a little bit of muscle and come down and just for uh, health reasons. and. I don't need to be so thick. So anyway, good news. Okay, shake time, goddammit. This is the first meal shake. So 
almond milk. And I already put ice in the blender. Very important. Ice is fucking makes it. So I'm making Chanel shake too because I'm such an awesome fucking boyfriend. Or maybe you're just returning the favor because I always make yours. <laughs> no, it's not that at all. <laughs> all right. So two tablespoons of peanut butter. Yeah, that's about it. And the fucking egg crystals, goddammit. Chocolate. So, uh, eight and five, 13, two, right? Mm -hmm. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and 13. Oh, hey. Almost got gypped. Yeah, don't be gypping me. Fuck no. <laughs> 13 egg whites. I feel like when you're counting, there needs to be the uh, 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 uh. <laughs> uh, are you gonna fuck me right now? Yeah, you know why? Because you have the lid on wrong. Oh, Jesus Christ. Hello. <laughs> Okay. I better do this over the sink. <laughs> oh yeah. Look at that. A fucking pro. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Ah, just finished cardio, vacuum, stretching, ready to get this day started, goddammit. Let's do it. Hey, baby. Babe. Yeah? Are you ready for meal number two? For what? Meal number two. Meal number two. I just fucking had a shake a little while ago. Um. I don't know. Are you ready that. for meal number two? Oh, shit. Hello. <laughs> meal number two. Yeah. Okay. A whole different kind of fucking meal. Where'd you get that? I've never seen that before. Yeah, that's the whole point. I told you I had surprises for you. God damn. All right. Meal number two, god damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Different kind of meal. Okay, today we're killing chest. We're going to do a superset. It's going to be chest supersetted with side delts and front delts. First exercise, bench press. We're going to do bench press supersetted with shoulder press. So anytime you're working your chest, you're hitting your front delts. So now we're really demolishing the front delts. So straight from bench press to front presses. And you're going to demolish those front delts. So I'm doing higher reps around the 20 range. And the next exercise is going to be incline press. So I'm using the Smith machine. Again, I'm doing higher reps somewhere in the 20 range. And I'm going to be supersetting incline press with side laterals. So I'm squeezing, stretching every single rep, and then I'm straight to side laterals. And there's no rest between supersets, guys. No fucking rest. So side laterals, rep it out. A weight you can do about 20 reps with, and just burn those fuckers. Make those shoulders burn, scream, grow. All right, and then the last exercise is not a superset. I'm just doing the pec deck fly machine, and I'm going for 30 reps, high rep to really burn those pecs. Now, as you guys know, your front delts are always being worked when you're training chest, as you can see. Anyway, have a great fucking workout. Oh, it is fucking shake time, God damn it. And I can't fucking see a goddamn thing. The sun's right in my eyes, babe. I can't see shit. We just got done training at Powerhouse. Had an awesome fucking workout. And uh, I supersetted chest with front delts and side delts. And uh, it's an awesome workout. Some people <laughs> aren't aware that when you're fucking killing your chest, you are fucking killing your front delts. Whenever you're doing a chest movement, you are working your front delts. Um, when you're doing presses, shoulder presses, you are working your upper pecs. So therefore, those two 
body parts are great for supersetting because you're working both those muscles with you know the exercises you're doing so that makes it a perfect scenario to superset front delts and fucking chest you know it's just a great superset I rarely see anyone do that as a superset you know people do chest and back they do buys and tries they do quads and hams you know antagonist muscles but uh, chest and front delts is also an awesome workout to super to superset I threw in side delts to go along with that because you know I like to train front delts and side delts together that they also you know work together great so uh, the workout was fucking awesome and uh, I got a huge pump right now feels good and uh, I'm just gonna drink my fucking shake and shut the fuck up right Jesus Christ feed the body What's up for dinner? The fuck are we gonna eat? That's what I wanna know. <laughs> I don't know, what do you wanna eat? Well, the crazy thing is, I mean, seriously, like, I've been on the keto for over seven weeks, right? And I know you've been on it longer, so you don't need to fucking, you don't need to one-up me on this one, because I know you're about to do that shit. <laughs> is that, I've been on the keto for over seven weeks and I have not fucking cheated as far as what, you know, my keto allows me. I have not fucking cheated. I have not had any complex carbs, what the fuck soever. And, uh, man, I'm getting ready for a motherfucking pizza. I'll tell you that much. Uh, but since I just started this series, you know, and I'm only like a week into the series. I can't really go out and have a pizza because people would think I'm fucking cheating, you know, in a fucking week or week and a half, whatever it is. But they don't understand that I've been on this motherfucking keto for, you know, fucking, I don't know, between seven and eight weeks. So, you know, technically, I deserve a motherfucking cheat, right? Mm -hmm. And I know you've been on the motherfucker for 20 weeks, whatever. <laughs> fucking two years. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how long you've been on it for. So I'm sure you're damn ready for a cheat. But you, didn't you have one cheat or some shit? Or no? Uh, I don't think I did. Yeah. So. I so. think I would have remembered. I already have a list in my head of things that I would want to cheat with. I know you want fucking cereal. You want macaroni and cheese. That's your two fucking. Oh top. my god! You read my mind. Those are your top fucking choices. But yeah, cereal and macaroni and cheese are my, my top two. Yeah, see, I was eating cereal like a motherfucker before I started this keto diet, remember? Mm -hmm. I, I would I would drink, I would drink a real food shake, and then I would eat a huge bowl of Special K cereal. There's every, still like five or six boxes. Left. Every fucking day I did that. Every day I drank a real food shake and then right after, I had a huge ass ball of Special K. Every day. And that shit was so good. But, you know, I did that shit every day for like at least a couple months, right? Mm -hmm. So it's like, you know, I don't really feel like I'm missing cereal that much because I did it every day. But I haven't had pizza in a long fucking time. And the problem is, the problem that's really keeping me from having pizza is I don't know any good pizza place in Florida. And the worst thing in the fucking world is to go fucking splurge and have something you want to eat and it sucks. And that's what I feel like is going to happen. We have basically, the only thing I know of is BJ's and Domino's. I'm telling you, we got to go to New York and have pizza. Well, yeah. <laughs> I got to fly to New York for a fucking cheat meal and fly back. <laughs> I'm not quite there yet. When I get my private jet, then that's what we'll be doing. Okay. We'll be like, fuck. Ooh, Cat's <laughs> Deli too. We can fly get Cat's Deli. <laughs> Out there knows any pizza place in Florida, please tell me. And you know, you know what sucks though is honestly, I've had so many people tell me pizza is this, this pizza place is good, this pizza place, and it fucking sucks shit. People have some, everyone has different opinion of what's good pizza. That's what I learned is that everyone has, there's so many different, I don't know, Chicago, New York, you know, but for me, I, I can have good ass New York and I can have good ass Chicago. You know, they both can be good. 
it's not like I only like one or the other. I just think there's fucking good and there's bad. Domino's in LA is off the hook. It's fucking good. But I order double everything. I get double sauce, double cheese. Whatever I get, I get double. If I get pepperoni and mushroom, I get double pepperoni, double mushroom, double cheese, and double sauce. And one Domino's pizza cost me like fucking 40 bucks when they're really like 12 bucks. Uh, and I usually get two. But hey, that's, that's it, it comes out pretty fucking good that way. And BJ's was the shit about 10 years ago. And from what I know, BJ's kind of went to shit. But maybe I could order double toppings at BJ's. Maybe that shit might be good. Maybe. I don't know. This motherfucker really just pulled right in front of me. Right in front of me. Look at this. Show the people on the camera. He just pulled right the fuck in front of me in the fast lane. Pulled in front of me doing like 50. to me last week about my road rage yeah but I'm not <laughs> fucking flipping them off and honking my horn they don't see or hear they, what I'm doing they don't get the finger until they give me the finger so I was trying to explain to Chanel <laughs> that when she flips people off and honks her fucking horn that then they're gonna flip us off and then they might you know want to get crazy you know and then next thing you know i'm fucking you know in trouble basically put it that way right it's basically a no-win situation and uh so i was trying to explain that to her <laughs> <laughs> so it's uh i've learned it took me a long time to learn but when people honk and flip you off, it's like you just kind of smile at them and wave, you know, and that will usually piss them off more than flipping them off back, you know? A lot of times that pisses them off more, but, you know, it's just kind of showing that, you know, whatever, you know, I'm not bothered. Um, and not letting yourself get worked up over a bunch of bullshit. You know, it's kind of like how you deal with everything in life, right? You don't get worked up over. I think social media has taught me that. <laughs> I think everyone in the beginning of their social media days, they fucking start freaking out when people talk shit to them on social media and they take it personal. And then after it keeps happening and happening and happening, finally you realize, you know, what's really going on. And you just kind of laugh about it, you know, and it doesn't get to you anymore. But I think it takes people a while before they get to that point. And you see people that they're kind of new to social media and they're just fucking going back and forth with everyone that says some shit to them. And uh, there's no point, it's, it's pointless. So I think, that, I think that kind of made me chill out in all aspects of my life. It's, it's not worth it to get worked up over anything. Just worry about yourself, do what's best for you. Best revenge is to fucking be better than everyone. It is meal three, and I'm having a big ass fucking T bone fucking steak. And uh, it's a long fucking story that I'm not even gonna get into. But um, my boy, now look, I'm not positive, I'm pretty sure his name is Jeremy that works the fucking juice bar at Powerhouse Tampa Downtown. What up, my man? He fucking made this steak for me. So, uh, thank you, sir. I fucking appreciate it. It's a fucking awesome thing for you to do. So he made me this big ass fucking steak. I just brought it home, about to grub on this shit, meal three. So uh, he cooked it pretty fucking good, man. Right, pretty fucking good job. 
pretty big ass thick steak. So about to fucking tear into this motherfucker. See what's up. So <laughs> So I got a silver plate, a silver fucking knife, and a gold motherfucking fork. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I'm Jimmy rigged right now. But uh, uh, we we got we ordered we got gold silverware, but we didn't get no gold steak knives. Yeah, they don't make gold steak knives. I didn't think about that when I ordered the silverware. <laughs> and we never found fucking gold plates that match the silverware. We found different colored gold, but it wasn't right. I couldn't even find black plates. So <laughs> we got silver plates. <laughs> With fucking gold silverware with fucking silver steak knives. But, you know, whatever. Silver and gold's cool, right? It's a good combination. I got some watches that are silver and gold. Fuck it. It's not that bad. Mmm. Good, man. Okay, man. <laughs> I wasn't talking to you. I was talking to the people out there. Uh-huh. <laughs> that was good shit. That was good. So, Jeremy, thanks, brother. I appreciate it. Always taking care of me at Powerhouse. It's awesome. Rub this fucker down. I'm not having no vegetables. I'm just going to eat this fucking pound and a half steak. That's what it was. So it's a lot of fucking, a lot of protein. Probably too much. Definitely too much, but fuck it. What's up, goddammit? What <laughs> the fuck you laughing at? <laughs> Your safari hat. <laughs> my, goddamn, my goddamn kingle. Kango hat, goddammit. Hello, Cool J. That's what I'm talking about. Mama said, knock me out. No, Mama said, knock you out, motherfucker. Right? <laughs> Do you know who LL Cool J is? Yes, I know who LL Cool J is. <laughs> he sings that one song that says, you got Chanel on your feet. <laughs> That's the all what? I know. There's a song that he mentioned Chanel. He says, you got Chanel on your feet. He's talking about some girl who's got Chanel shoes on. How about Brenda got a big old butt? <laughs> <laughs> And no, I told you that I'd be true, but Tina got a big old butt, so I'm leaving you. I know that one. Every, or, time, uh, <laughs> every time he sees a girl with a little bit bigger butt. He's, I'm he leaving you for the girl with a bigger butt. He, always, he leaves the girl for the bigger butt. <laughs> then he finds the other girl with the bigger butt and leaves her. <laughs> Classy guy. Wonder how that worked out for him. That song was a shit. I think it worked out pretty goddamn good for him. He's still on that fucking show. Is he on some show? Uh, I think he does like NCIS Los Angeles or some <laughs> shit. Mm-hmm. I'm so glad we're having this big butt song so conversation right now. You. <laughs> you watch and see the video? Oh my god, it's been years. <laughs> he walks in a sizzler and the waitress walks by and he's like <laughs> Next thing you know, he's, he's with the girl sizzler. <laughs> anyway, anyway. Thanks for the nostalgic trip down memory, anyway, Butt Lane. <laughs> back in high school, we wore, it was popular to wear the, the other Kangol hats, the ones with a little snap in front. And uh, I, I hate to admit it, but I had one in every color. <laughs> Why didn't you get one of those? <laughs> these weren't popular. I don't even know if they made these back then. He didn't wear these. He wore these later, I think. I don't know. Well, why didn't you get the one you used to wear in high school? Because I don't like it. Oh, this one's cooler now? I don't know. It's different. I thought it was cool. I thought I would try it out. I ran across it online and had to order it. But I wanted the fucking furry one. They were sold out. I oh, used to have, have the furry one. Size, right? I had the furry one. What do you mean you had the furry one? My sister gave me a furry one. Oh, she had the furry one when she was in what high color? school. And she gave it to me. Black. Yeah, they didn't have it in my size. Remember, my head's too motherfucking big. They had, I was like, what? The <laughs> I should have gotten one for I myself. You took you forever to find this one in my size. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. I, I need to get what I what I what I'm gonna search for next is I want the Kid Rock white pimp hat that he wears with the white wife beater. <laughs> That's my next fucking hat. That mm. hat is sick. Yeah. Anyway, call me crazy. So we have okay, just crazy. pulled up to <laughs> Sally's. Woohoo. Sally's, yes. Yes. I don't give a fuck. I'll tell you everything. I don't fucking care. You don't like it? Fuck you. So anyway, we're at Sally's. I need to get some fucking color for my hair. Our fucking blonde girl isn't here, motherfuck. <laughs> right? Maybe she's doing restock in the back or some shit. Oh, man. Motherfuck. Cool as fuck and has awesome fucking hair. 
right? Her hair is thick as fuck and long and a perfect color. Mm-hmm. Don't get me wrong, guys. She's... She's a nice lady. She's a very nice lady with awesome hair. But she usually helps me. She's helped me tremendously. Because I fuck my shit up all the time because I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. People are going to think that's why you got your hat on. <laughs> <laughs> so let's go uh, find something to uh, fuck my hair up a little more. What do you say? Sounds good. All right, guys. Sally's got damn it. Let's see what the fuck I got. I got motherfucking chrome, goddammit. Chrome hair. <laughs> chrome. Anyway. Let's have some motherfucking. Oh. Check out the fucking. <laughs> check out the shoe game, goddammit. Some classy freaking kicks. Rocking the kicks fucking there, shoe buddy. game today, goddammit. The goddamn slippers. And I do have Gucci slippers, but the motherfuckers aren't comfortable. So these are probably fucking Walmart or fucking some bullshit. That's the way to go. And they're comfortable <laughs> as fuck. <laughs> they're the shit. Anyway, all right, let's go. All right, we are on our way to get some food. God damn it, the food run. So um, today is the 13th day, I believe. Right, babe? 13th day? Yes, unlucky for some. So being it's the 13th day, that means I've been doing the program for what, almost two weeks? But I've really been doing it for... Like seven or eight or something. Yeah, some I've shit. been doing it for way longer because I started this shit before I started, the, before the before the series started, I was already, already, already doing this diet. So I've been dieting for, I don't know how long, seven, eight, nine weeks, whatever, straight. Do you kind of know where I'm getting at? <laughs> I think I know what you're getting you at because I know idea? which direction you're headed right Do now you have in the car. Any idea? Where I'm going with this, God damn it! Mm -hmm. So um, I just want to. Um, what are you doing? I don't know. You, uh, my fucking pills. You're trying to steal my pills from me, God damn it! So I got to tell you guys, like, it's really awesome, just like being 100% legal in everything I do. I don't know if you guys can see that, can mm -hmm. you see that, babe? A little bit. A little bit. A little bit. It's, it's really small writing. It's kind of cool that you know I can. I can take fucking steroids, I can take IGF-1, and I'm doing it legally, and I can take some uh, uh, pot pills, <laughs> some, uh, and I can do it legally, you know, it's kind of cool, it's kind of crazy, what society fucking, where's society going, God damn it, Jesus Christ, but uh, since it's going to be a pizza night, yeah, pizza. It's pizza night? Pizza, pizza night, god damn it. Since, you having a cheat meal night? Since it's going to be a pizza night, I'm going to... I don't have any edibles, so I have pot pills. <laughs> All the edibles have been devoured. So, I'm going to have a couple pot pills tonight and really enjoy my grub. In half a mile, the destination is on your left. 3523 49th Street North. Yeah. So I wasn't I was hungry, but I wasn't that hungry, but the minute that word pizza came out of my mouth, now I'm fucking starving. My stomach is fucking like dying. We need to come down this way. Check this out. They got Biff's burgers. Whoa, what the fuck? Look at this shit, people. Oh, they're they're playing cornhole. Cornhole? You've never heard of that? <laughs> Buffy's Barbecue and Catering. They play cornhole, apparently. What the on fuck is cornhole? So it's like beanbag toss. The only thing I know about cornhole is... <laughs> Turn left. Beavis and, <laughs> Beavis Beavis and, and Butthead. Butthead. This is my cornhole. <laughs> That's the only thing I've heard about. They, no they play cornhole at, like, Stagecoach and stuff and country bars. Like, it's a, it's a you know, country Wow. Sort of thing. Look at that! Oh my god, really? Show that shit! Yeah! <laughs> when was the last time you saw Spurs on a car? What's up? <laughs> the only thing is, music's gonna fuck up my monetization, <laughs> goddammit! Costing me money! Where do I go? Left? Yes, honey. Okay. And then I don't you're know gonna, if I had you turn And then you're gonna go right. And yeah, you hear this fucking music? That's gonna fuck up my monetization. Uh, that you're fine. Go right in here. Oh shit. Sorry, Make people. Turn at 48th Street North. Yeah, fuck you, you turn. turn. I made it. 49th Street North. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. You don't see shit like that in Florida. 
Fucking rolling on, what were those, probably 26s? Well, I don't even know what the hell that was. You it know was what like they are. fucking the size of pizza. Anytime fitness, people in there fucking killing shit. Mm-hmm. Be fucking around at Anytime Fitness, goddammit. Fucking dropping shit, breaking shit, powder everywhere. All right. I never heard none of these stars. Delights. Okay, there it is. Oh man, babe. Little Italy pizza? Yes. Arrived. Oh, babe. What are you uh, babing for? I don't know. It doesn't, I don't know. I'm a little nervous that it's not going to be really fucking good. Oh, good lord. What? Don't judge a book by its cover. Oh, Stop. man. Stop. Can't be doing that. This is kind of fucking ghetto and shit. Uh, am I going to make it, babe? What is, yeah. I don't know. Show people what I'm doing. <laughs> I, well, I can't really. My oh, lens doesn't go out that far. With my incredible driving. You're dynamite driving. <laughs> oh, Is it all that? Because I gotta get up front parking as close as I can, goddammit. Mm hmm. So when I was pulling out of Sally's, I fucking hit the goddamn fucking curb behind me and chipped my fucking rim. Oh, that is so aggravating. But at least these rims are silver. But like the Maserati has black rims. And the first pair of rims I got on the Bentley Arnage were black. And I remember I would hit a curb and I would want to fucking kill every motherfucker around. I was out of my mind. <sighs> A big ass trunk taken out of the rim. <sighs> oh my god. You're just like, ah! Right? They used to have me like at least once a month. I pull up to Goldsworth Hollywood. I always park next to the curb. I'd go to back up. <sighs> oh! Get out of the car. Fucking half the rim is scraped. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, that's the first time I've dinged this, this fucking Bentley was tonight. Right? Okay, well, let's not make it a habit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go get our fucking pizza. I'm starving. Little Italy pizza. I don't know. Sometimes the little the little dives are the best, right? I think That's so. That's not as Mexican food always. The little tiny hole in the walls have the best fucking food. Well, hopefully it's that way with pizza. Oh yeah, motherfucking pizza. Look at these fucking size of these pizzas. Jesus fucking Christ, right? You think these are gonna fit in the fucking trunk, babe? I hope. <laughs> I don't know. This slow moving goddamn trunk drives me out of my mind. Oh, shit. Oh, come on. Look at this. Come on. Look at that. Look at that. Ah, perfect fit. Okay, pizza. What kind of pizza we get? I know you guys are dying to hear, right? We got, what was it called? The. Toby's special. I Toby's think? New York special or some. It's like they're. It's basically pepperoni, sausage, uh, mushrooms, onions, extra cheese, extra cheese, and bell peppers. I forgot to say no bell peppers. Oh. I fucked up. Damn it! I just realized. Okay. And the second pizza was the white pizza. The white special. And what was on that one again? Ricotta, provolone, uh, garlic, mozzarella, spinach, something I'm forgetting. Tomatoes, I think. Good shit. That one sounds really yeah, good. Yeah, that one sounds better than the other one. <laughs> well, there are two total like. opposites. That's, that's what, that's the beauty in it. There's two total opposite pizzas. Yeah. Well, these are some big fucking pizzas. All right, so basically, now you can pretty much see how big these fucking oh pizzas God, are. This pizza Jesus is huge. Christ. Those are some serious pizzas. And I have to say, this one looks better. They both look good, though. And we got the big, huge chrome plates, right? So we can fucking load up. Alright, goddamn it, baby. God, look at this fucking, just this one piece of fucking pizza. Look at this shit. Jeez, that's one piece. 
Two pieces gonna take up the whole fucking plate. Not that I'm grabbing the biggest piece or anything. I would never do that. I would always let Chanel have the bigger piece. Where the fuck is it cut at? I don't know where that one's cut, babe. I don't think that one is cut. Well, geez. They're all cut that big. Oh, there you go. There's a regular slice of pizza. Jeez. All right, there we go, God damn it. That's what I'm talking about. You want me to get yours, babe? Sure. What do you want? Uh, one of each? Yeah, might as well try one of each. Any preference? No. Oh, yeah. Grub time. All right, camera's off. We're in heaven. See you guys later.